It was August. Um, it was oh, oh, there you go. Of course, he would know that. <laughs> in August, he was on, and he expressed interest in you as a girl. No, he didn't. You put him up to it. No, I didn't. Yes, you. I did. had nothing to do. How did you I do that? Did you really too. think so? Yes. Well, how so? You you brought it up. You can look over at Robin. It's okay. <laughs> I walked in like you don't even exist. I don't. It's like so high school. How are you doing, pal? I was looking at Fred because uh, Ronnie said that me and Fred are starting to look alike. Yeah. We Poor sound you. alike, I hear. Do you, think, you. do you think his impression of you is good? Uh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Some of my older friends that I've known for a while say it's, he's on and off with it, but most people, people come up to you after the show, they go, you, Fred's impression is better than you. I'm like, how could it be? That's my voice. You are a good-looking man. There's no question about it. You've never said that before until I started dating her. I think you look better. I don't know what you're doing, but you look good. You're in shape. He's got a tremendous body, right, Robin? <laughs> <laughs> right? He's got a physique. Right? He's a good-looking guy. He's a good-looking guy. Yeah. You always thought so, even before you were going out with him. Sure. Is this weird for you, Jim? I mean, Robin's somewhat uncomfortable. Is she? Yeah. <laughs> she, doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't look uncomfortable. <laughs> she looks good, though. You're bringing out something in her. Maybe she's bringing out a me, too. Are you uncomfortable being here today? A little bit. It's because not worse than last time when I had to talk about my ex-girlfriend. Well, because that was a lot tougher for me. Right, but you're concerned that you could say the wrong thing and Robin will end this romance you're having with sure. her. Sure. <laughs> because you never know, coming from a woman, you could tell her, you know, uh, you could say, you know, I didn't like the shoes you wore, and she can hold that against you for 10 years. She right. didn't think that was that bad. You know, <laughs> So I, you don't know. I have to tell you, Jim, I'm a little concerned about how this is being handled. I'm happy for the two of you. You found how some romance. How this is being handled? What are you talking about? I feel there's so much <laughs> secret. I said to Robin, do you love Jimmy? You know, have you, you got, you know, and, oh, I can't answer, I can't answer. And, okay, all right, you want something's private. I get it. I get it. I get it. But, like, even your relationship with Shuli has been damaged over this. <laughs> Shuli's a friend of yours. I happen to know about this, and I've been sitting on this till you came in. Shuli's a friend of I yours. I somehow knew this would come up. Yeah. Shuli is a friend of Jim's, and I guess Robin said... Uh, I Shuley, never said anything. Shuley Don't said anything so, on Shuley me. said something to Robin about something you told him about Robin. It was an innocuous <laughs> story, and now you're not talking to Shuli for a month. Shuli, what happened? Well, it's not that we're not talking. It's just... It, it it's really strange. surprised me because I was just telling a story that, that we've heard about Jim for over 10 years, and it wasn't even on the air. It was off the air, like just talking in the break room. And then I get home and... You and talked he, about the fact that Jimmy was in a car with you and farted and it smelled like and that. And he, he yeah. made his girlfriend throw up or something. Yeah, and right. your girlfriend threw up. <laughs> right. And, and Jimmy got so upset he stopped, like, talking to you. He sent me an, a text message going, I can't trust you, you know, you're an asshole. And no, I'm it's like, true. Well, well first, of all, look, first of all, the story well, isn't it's 100% exactly true. Right, but right. I did tell him two days before, I said, Shuli, don't bring that story up on the air because let me be in studio so I can explain myself. It would be funny if we do it in studio. So don't tell Robin. Right. He said, okay, fine. And then the Monday, two days later, bef as soon as he sees Robin, first thing, hey, Robin, you know what happened? Listen, That's when I lost listen trust to with me. him. You're going to have a nervous breakdown. You uh, are I'm, no not, I'm not having a nervous breakdown. I'm fine with Julie. I just got to know that he's a reporter. He's my friend, but he's also a reporter, so I got to no, be careful but you, around but him. But wait a second. Jimmy, listen to me. You're I got to known... walk around eggshells around my friends. You're I got to known... hold in my farts around my friends. I never not thought that all. would happen. But you're all. the guy who farts and shits. <laughs> exactly. you're, the, you're the guy. See, I feel Robin does doesn't even know who you are. No, right. uh, you, when you're at you're the keeping gym. it from her. Oh. You never let out gas with your friends at the gym yes. and, and start giggling about. It. You go home and go, Beth. You you got to see this fart. I cleared the whole gym. You that's don't tell her. Am I out of line? True. Yes. Yeah, so I, that's all it is. But am I out of line for the last like? Let uh, one out uh, now, Jim. I, <laughs> how you'll run out of here screaming? I'm sorry. <laughs> but he like you know I. It's what Jim does. No offense. Like, that's what I've known him to do for well, years. But why do you need to report it to Robin? But he's point. saying it like I ran up to Robin and said, Robin, wait till you hear this. That's not the case. Yeah, I saw no, her in the break room. You grabbed me in the hall. <laughs> no, that's not even true, Robin. That's we were dead. in the break room we getting something to drink. Anywhere. You she says, me. Oh, I heard you had a fun weekend. And no, I said, no, no, Well, no, I didn't no, know no, what no. the hell Jim well, talked about. You know, Jimmy about. does have a point, Shirley. He's lying. I didn't get this. I never brought up anything. Jimmy does have a point. Yeah. In other words, he's right. If I'm with Shuley. And I shit somewhere funny. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. And I make him laugh. Right. Does that mean he's going to go grab Robin and go, you're not going to believe what Jimmy did. He shit in uh, my girlfriend's bed. In other words, 
reporting it it's, to Robin could... Yeah, that's yeah, a story. He's not a scientist working on a cure for cancer. It's Jim Florentine. But let me ask you, let's say you do something gross here at work, okay? Let's All say right. you did something weird. Okay. I don't pick up the phone and say, you're not going to believe what Shuli did. Yeah, I wouldn't go girl. tell his girlfriend that. That's a story that no girl's going to go, how come you didn't tell me? I wish I was there for that. Right, right. That's a story that gross. among, yeah, it makes me well, gross. There's nothing it. positive going to come out of that story by but telling someone's girlfriend. But do you think Robin really knows you? You are on such good behavior. <laughs> no, I'm really not. I act myself around. I hold in my farts, but I've held them in every relationship I've been lady. with. I've held them in. Right. So Robin does know who you she are. She does. I, I'm myself. Am I just childish and immature? Every We go to a restaurant. Every restaurant, I make the re Steve. Langford, that's my reservation. Langford party of two right here. I just goof around all the time. Well, you're a funny guy. There's no question. There's no question. I thought it was great when you and Robin went out the first time in public together. You were at the North Shore Animal League event, and you told everyone your name was Crackhead Bob. No, Jeff the Drunk. Jeff, Jeff the, the Drunk. drunk. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and they reported it. Robin quivers with Jeff the Drunk. That's great. It was great. That's funny. But, surely I do see his point. I just said, way. don't say anything I, to Robin. So that's where he broke my trust. Right. Well, and I, and look, and I but think, what else are you keeping from Robin? That's Is it. there something she should know? No, Besides there's farting? nothing. But, I mean, that was, and that story wasn't exactly true either. Yeah, I see his point. I actually oh, do. I'm glad you see his point. Well, I'm going to be fair here, surely I get it. Like, if I am around my buddies, right. I'm like, we'll do guy humor with each other. I don't need him necessarily busting me to Beth and saying, hey, Howard took a shit in an upper decker. But, and... it's, but it's not a guy who's never done guy humor before. Like, that's what But Jim... why report it to Robin? It wasn't a report. I in didn't other report words, it to Robin to fuck titties. anything up for him. That was some... never my intention. If I felt some titties on the air, would you call Beth and go, guess what? Howard's in the middle of no, feeling titties? No, and that's, and that's two totally different things. Farting oh. and feeling a girl's tits are two totally different things. It's, no, they're not, because either way, the girl's <laughs> not going to be happy that you reported that. If you're in a gym with Ross... And right. just a hot chick goes, Ross goes, would you fuck her? You're like, of course. And right. Ross goes, I would, too. And then Ross wouldn't go to Beth going, hey, Beth Howard said he fucked this girl in the right. gym. But that's not that's what just I guy did. talk. You don't do that. Right. You're not going to do it. He's it's hypothetical. Right. He's a little bit right here. I think you guys are mixing in two different things. I, you're, you're making it sound like I came in and said, you know, uh, oh, uh, we, we had a line of chicks giving us hand jobs backstage. That's Whoa, now case. where'd that story come from? Well, I wish. <laughs> it was in my dreams. Why did that happen? Why didn't you tell me about <laughs> that? Usually it's a line of guys. Let me ask something. Are you guys exclusive to one another now? Who, me and Shuli? No. <laughs> I know you and Shuli yeah. are done. <laughs> no, we're fine. No, we're you and Robin fair. are exclusive. Yeah. She has said that. Yeah. And this is going well. Yeah, it's going well. Why is Robin uncomfortable? Maybe you can answer this for me. Why is Robin uncomfortable? <laughs> Why would you ask him about me? <laughs> Why? Because you won't answer this question. Why is Robin uncomfortable saying if she loves you or not? Is that? Is that I, I don't, you know, that's I don't. But probably because it's never been on the air before. Someone that she's dated has never been on the air before, so it's it's different for her this time. How long have you been exclusive with her now? Since you know the beginning. Since, since the we, beginning. Yeah. This is a romance. <laughs> No, we just... Are you the happiest you've ever been? We're in a reading uh, club. <laughs> Are you the happiest you've ever been? <laughs> I don't know. We, I'm happy, absolutely. The relationship's going great. You're happy? Yeah. She doesn't drive you crazy? No, not at all. Low maintenance. Low maintenance? <laughs> Low maintenance. Because she doesn't insist that you're with her every minute. She's not needy. Not insecure. There's not 17 text messages, 85 voicemails, where are you, none of that stuff. She's not like a little girl. That will do that. She's a woman. She's a woman. She's clearly defined. Until she hears a farting story. And then she gets upset. I never got upset. You are full of crap. <laughs> well, I, I figured you were upset, upset because he he jumped down my throat. And I figured he got I got upset. Why does it have to do anything to do with me? I thought maybe you called it him. It was and, probably yeah. very hard winning Robin's trust. I know in the beginning, she looked at me. She said, what is this? <laughs> You know what I mean? She was like, what, did you guys do something? What, did you put him up there? Like, what, what is going on here? Where am I being played? What is this? And yet you won her trust. Mm. Should we tell oh. her now? Oh. <laughs> yeah, could we tell her now? <laughs> okay. Uh, I keep waiting for that to happen. <laughs> do you think you know her well? Pretty good. Wow. Here we go. I don't know. You know, pretty good, I would say. I'm going to give you a test. Oh, uh, here we go. I'm going to give the both of you a test right now. I don't know him. I'm telling you right well, now. Okay, you say you don't know him. I guarantee you, you two will probably do better than you did with Mr. X when you went out with seven years. I want to see how far along this is. Worse. I want to see we how well. You can only equal that. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Gary, get me a pen and paper from, uh, for each couple. There we go. There you go. I will say while you're waiting. I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you 13 questions. <sighs> I don't share your concern because, and I've said this from the beginning, that my friend Jim Florentine, 
<laughs> does not have an ounce of that bullshit in him. What bullshit? Uh, of where he'd ever do anything that he wasn't sincere about. Honestly, there's no. I'm Hollywood not going to do it for shit. a bit. Or, yeah, yeah I mean, how, there's no I don't like I, about Look, I don't. Are I, you in love? We're not at that point yet. But <laughs> what do you mean you're not at that point? We're not. It's, we're just we're having a good time, and it, it, you're I'm not sure in love it's with gonna, Robin. It's we haven't said it yet. You haven't said it, but do you think you're in love with her? <laughs> Let's yeah. talk to Phil over here. Yeah. <laughs> I know you haven't she said it. She knows how I feel about her. How does she know? You told her? Yeah. That it's seven been... months. I mean, I don't even know if it's seven months. So, look, you, it took you eight years to get engaged to a woman. That's right. That's so, right. I mean, you can't, you're talking about two people that have never been married, never even been close. Right. So this relationship is going to go slow. It's building. It's building nice. Do you think you want to marry Robin? Mary! Oh, my oh. God! What leap I'm being take? very, very serious oh. right now. Do you think Robin might be the one? <laughs> I wouldn't rule it out. Wow. Whoa. Oh, listen I, I'm not going to say yeah. never, oh but, you know. God. Robin, what do you feel when you hear Jimmy say that? I don't even know what you're talking about. You I'm not going to say here. absolutely not, but... I poked out my eardrums. As a matter of fact, our best man's going to be ICSF working. <laughs> He's he's the president of uh, Eritrea. <laughs> <laughs> Fred doing research. Wow. That really that, wow. 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 What? Don't be ridiculous. You want to know what I think about Robin? I'll tell you something. She's always said to me she's anti-marriage. Fuck that bullshit. bullshit Anti-wife. Bullshit. I've always been too. Absolutely. All right, listen to this. I wasn't even anti-marriage. I've just never been married. Right. Uh, oh, here's no. The... I just am not the marrying kind. Here's my prediction. All right. <laughs> if this continues to blossom, and I like the way I think it's going, mm-hmm. I mean I don't know much, but I'm having a good feeling about this. If you pop the question, Miss mm. Quivers over there. Yes, Jimmy. Yes, <laughs> yes. My you really think so? Yes. She would say yes. I do. I believe. Now, why you think out of all the men she dated, she would say yes to me? Because I think you have a good heart. I know the real heart in you. I've had private conversation with you. How have, many? And I. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what would you say? Two or three times? Yeah, two or three times. Really? Yeah. I, I would have so to yeah, say. I didn't even know that. Now I feel funny calling you because Robin will think I'm spying. But the fact you, you don't even. I'm not interested in calling you. I'm interested in calling him. <laughs> what are you calling him about? I was friendly with him. Really? Yeah. And now you Something can't you call know. him? That's right. You ruined That's it. That's ridiculous. You ruined my relationship with Jimmy. Why could you not call him? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't want you to think that uh, I'm, you know, God. involved in this. <laughs> call away. I've been asking him advice the whole way. I've been calling him. Yeah, he calls me every night. Tells me, yeah. I'm like, uh, Cyrano, you know I'm in love with you. I, I tell him what to so say. So you're, you're putting the words in his no, mouth? I'm putting the words in He's saying, look, she really wants me, but you take my place. I'm and like, dude, I would do this. I'm like, that was dude. very nice of you. I'm like, dude. <laughs> Sacrificing yourself like that. I'm like, dude, don't fart in front of me. <laughs> the one thing. And don't let Shuli tell her. Have you not farted in front of Robin yet? In the no, I haven't done it in front of any girl. Friends. Really? He doesn't yeah. fart. Do you I'm very respectful in that sense. I'm assuming when you spend time together. Let's say you, you sleep over Robin's house. Right. You sit. I mean, are you uncomfortable? You have to sneak out of the room, and because you're a gassy dude. Like, no, I mean, you know, what do you do with it? Where does it go? You hold them in. You hold them in. Oh, well, I got it. Are you in? Be honest. I've described about there were many times in my relationship with her. I've been in pain. Are you in pain? No, it's never been at that point. Really? Yeah. Will you, will you ever sneak into another room at your apartment or Robin's apartment and, and like, blast off so you can get it out and then go back and join her? <laughs> I don't want to drag it back in, though. Right. You, know? you wait a few minutes. Yeah, my, my farts are famous for following me. Yeah, you've ever leaned your ass out the window? And like... <laughs> you got to keep it out there because if you drag it in. No, I mean, maybe in the morning or something, I'll let a few out. I'll just flush the ball. During sex, have you ever told Robin you love her? No. I have not. All right. <laughs> I don't believe that for a minute. You can believe whatever you want. I think you're you in love. Want. You think so? Yeah. I don't think you'd be giving up other pussy. Oh. Unless you were. I'm telling you. In the middle of telling her that you love her, have you had sex with her? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you have a bigger penis than Mr. X? Probably not. <laughs> I highly doubt it. But you get the big balls. 
They're not weird, really that big. Weird you know what? Showing Robin your balls for the first time. They, I had like a two year run when my balls were really big. I don't know right. what was going on. I thought I had elephantitis. <laughs> but now it's. The, I even showed it to a doctor. He said he, I was in the bathroom. He said, I'm a doctor. Real? I go, look, sh- I just whipped out my balls. I go, is there something wrong? Because you should get those things checked. And? But I never did. But then they're back to normal size, so they're really not that big. Oh, they are. Yeah. All but right. I had a nice run. All right. Well, you I don't show them to anyone anymore? They're not, they're not impressive. <laughs> They look like a tent at Jazz Fest in the world. <laughs> Tim, go ahead. You're on in Philadelphia. This is very exciting. Jimmy How Florentine's here. By the way, Jimmy's a real funny comic. This Thursday night at the Gotham Comedy Club in New York City. You've all heard his material here. We play it all the time. 212-367-9000. Jim's new comedy album, Anger is a Gift, is available at jimflorentine.com. And uh, you can see Jim April 2nd through the 5th, through the 6th at the Improv in Dallas. He's right busy. Starland Ballroom in New Jersey this weekend because Levy will cry. Wow, very nice. <laughs> uh, yes, Shirley. I mean, Tim, you want to speak about Shirley. Go ahead. Yeah, Howard, I think Shirley's a little bitch, a little tattletale, a little pussy, and he doesn't have a leg to stand on with what he did. All right, there you go. It's a farting story. I guess dude. you're in the uh, minority, Julie. Me and Julie are fine. I just got to be yeah, careful. Not... You know what I mean? I, I, we're, we're friends. We're always going to be friends. But I got to be, you know, you I got to watch my step around. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Little spy. Well, I like it. Keep talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, he'll yeah. always encourage you to spy, Julie. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> He's the reason I'm spying, Jim. That guy right there. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. Take it from me. That's the true. only thing I just said, please, don't tell Robin. All right, that's, you got a pad next to That was the only thing. But, I apologize. All right, time to see it's the all couple. Good. Let's see how well the couple has this progressed. This is not fair. It's not fair. But who said it's fair? <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to participate. All right, I want to see how well you progress. Just write down your answer. Ah. All right, first question. Oh. Jim, write down, what was the last movie you saw together? This is very simple. Robin, write it down. Jim, write it down. Don't say a word. And Jim, hide your answer. Hide your answer from cheating Robin. She cheats on these things. I've seen her do it in the past. What's the last movie you saw together? Oh, I think it was... I'm just talking to myself. (laughs) (laughs) If you get one right, you already know each other better than Robin's last relationship. They didn't get any right. They got none right. Zero. Hold on for a second. What is the last movie you see? Your time is up, Robin. Nobody has all day for this. I don't think (laughs) we've seen a movie since then. There's 13 questions, and the questions get more intense as we go along. This is the easy one. When was the last movie you saw together? Okay. Pens down. Oh, jeez. I... There might have um, been another one in there. Robin, I'm going to add, Jim has finished writing. <laughs> Robin, what uh, did you write down? Ugh, I was having trouble. Savages? And, uh, Jimmy, let me see what you have. Rambo. No! Rambo. <laughs> that was the last one we th- saw at a theater, but the last one we saw mm. was that one with... Um... No, I, no, I think it was, it was Rambo. No, we saw this one out in California <laughs> when we were at the hotel. Wow. When with, you were at the um, hotel, Philip Seymour Hoffman and yeah, I know which movie you're talking about. We didn't. Rambo wasn't after that. <laughs> All right, then you screwed up the easy question. <laughs> that was the easy question. <laughs> oh, you're a new man, I tell you. Oh, yeah. Because I saw Rambo. <laughs> I've seen clown. every one. Yucko the clown wants to. Uh, uh, say Yucko you go ahead, Yucko. Hey, I just want to let you know that uh, Jim's more whipped now than Robin's ancestors ever were. <laughs> Jim is more whipped than Robin's ancestors. All right. Really? How do you figure? All right. Thank you. Yucko, Yucko the clown, everyone. Yeah, weighing in. All right. Let's see. Okay. Who is Robin's best friend? Now, Jim, write down the answer and Robin, write down I the answer. I have a best friend? Who? Stop commentating. <laughs> who will Jim That's write and who, who is Robin's best friend? Shh. Don't say anything. I don't know what to write down. Just write something down. Jim already answered. He's good at this. He knows Jeez. you. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. he's not going to get this one. All right. Robin, uh, <laughs> that's true. I might not because I don't know Mr. X's real name. <laughs> what is, uh, what did you write down, Robin? Kathy. Let me see what you wrote down. Sheila. See, I knew, I said, mm, you knew you wow. say Kathy or Sheila. But I'd have to say it's Kathy. Sheila's going to commit suicide. I know. (laughs) So, so far, it's too wrong. We really don't know each other all that well. I told you that. Wow. She's got a lot of friends. Okay. Here's an easy one. 
<sighs> what is the last thing you disagreed over? <laughs> Write it down. What is the last thing? The you last answer. <laughs> Who's Robin Bud Brown? <laughs> right, what is the last thing? Before this show. Artie's going to explode during this segment. He's very jealous of this relationship. He hasn't stopped eating. I know when he gets stressed out. No. You are eating through the entire interview. Well... I, I, I know. Know. I mean, we're we're giving Artie a chance to have a well, meal. So well, my know. friends are going through crisis. We right? don't disagree <laughs> about anything. Really. What is it? Don't uh, answer out loud. <laughs> Just write then write something down on the paper. What is the last disagreement you had? What was the last disagreement over? Uh, it really wasn't a disagreement. <laughs> Wow. Right? You're talking. You're not writing. What tension? Did you write something down, Jim? No. Hurry up. <sighs> this is love. We're seeing love at its earliest stage. Hey, right. And it's <laughs> horrible. Yeah, we're over three. No, no, you stay. You can, you can, uh, you can match up. It, I bet it's whether we, or not. We well, have never disagreed on anything. At, at, let me see what you wrote down. Come I would on. say nothing. I, I didn't write like nothing. Him. I didn't oh, write anything. Really? Yeah. Nothing. We've never talking disagreed dirt. on anything. That's uh, ridiculous. I bet it's whether or not Levy wrote that joke. Beat my dick <laughs> down. What is it, Dominic? Go ahead. Two uh, things. Uh, Jimmy, uh, do you have any nights for boys night out? Yeah, he's out a lot. <laughs> no, but I mean, when they go out, can we go out? What oh. is he saying? I never oh, understand that. the girls Dominic. and the boys. He's saying if Robin has her girls' night out. Well, I tell you out. what, Dominic, if we have a boys' night out, you're not included. <laughs> <laughs> and one more thing, Robin, I know you're 25 years, and I don't know why. I feel like either crying or my sister's getting married. It's, it's strange. I feel we're very close to a wedding day. Yeah, right. No, really, yeah, it's, it's really special. Has your yeah, attitude toward uh, marriage changed, Jimmy, after meeting Robin? Please. <laughs> Will you stop it, Howard? I'm being serious. <laughs> I know his, his attitude towards interracial marriage has changed because I know what he used to think. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, used to think like you. Oh, <laughs> How is it uh, interracial dating? Is That's a good question. That's fine. Have you ever dated a black woman before? I, yeah, not really dated, but I've been with a black woman before. You, you've been with black yeah. women, never yeah, dated. Yeah, at the Waffle House. Or no, yeah. not dated. Oh, waffle house. <laughs> Did you bang some black chicken at a Waffle House? I like, you know, the uniforms turn me on. <laughs> Best 50 bucks you ever spent. <laughs> now, have you re met Robin's side of the family? I know she's met your family. No. When is Robin taking you to meet her mother? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, any consideration there? No. You don't no. want Jimmy to meet your mother? Yeah, it happens. I right. mean, they're not around. Mm -hmm. yeah. I met her nephew. Right. Well, we all meet the nephew. <laughs> that's a start. That's that's good. That's very important. Did you click with the nephew? Yeah, or? I think we got along good. Yeah. yeah. Was it important to you to get along with him? Or you know how important he is to Robin. I, you know, <laughs> I'm just myself. Hopefully yeah. he likes me. Robin, have you told your mother about Jimmy? Sure. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh. You had a conversation about uh, Jimmy. She asked me about him the other day. Really? How's your friend? <laughs> oh. And what did you say? Friend. I said he's fine. Mm-hmm. You give it to her very hard, I imagine. <laughs> Why do you two not admit to making love to one another? Who didn't it? admit it? Robin. Why ask her then? Why do you not admit it? Why, why the secrecy? Seriously about what that. What secret? Because I don't want to go to the next question. Which is, do you use KY with uh, Jimmy? <laughs> Or any other question you Here's might have. Here's my guess. I don't believe you use KY with Jimmy. What do you think of that? I don't think Jimmy's ever seen a tube of that stuff. I think you're so wet for him. I'm going to be honest. I think you're really in love, and it proves something to you. I'm like a magician with that stuff. When you're with a guy you don't dig, you're dry. Sure. You're like a desert. You say. And that's Whatever the biggest compliment to Jimmy. Say. That's what I think. Who else agrees? Fred raised the hand. A show of Absolutely. Pain. That's not even the Jimmy voice. That's Fred's voice. I agree. You agree, Fred? Absolutely. That she doesn't need lube? Marty, what do Does you not say? need lube. What I do say, say? <laughs> I don't know. I, Jim, uh, Jim, I've never known. Uh, Am I right, Robin? Has uh, had to have broad views out of Robin. I'm not answering the question. You won't answer it. <laughs> She's as cool and juicy as the Napa Valley. <laughs> <laughs> How come we've never seen you and Jimmy kiss in public? You never do in public displays. I saw you holding hands at the restaurant. No, you didn't see it. Well, Beth saw it. She reported <laughs> to me. But do you ever kiss in public or are you not into public displays of affection? I don't think we've kissed in public, no. Really? Why? That's crazy. 
Yeah, some people are. You guys are. You and Beth are all over each other, like you guys no, in no high way. school. No. I, I, every time I see you guys, you are. Oh, so that's the rap against me? No, it's not the rap against you. That's great. I, you know, but I got to prove to someone that she likes me. I know. You're, you're... You hold on to her like she wants to run away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got a rope tied to her. There the two of you are. There's a videotape of you two oh, on your, no. um, your first public again. outing. Very, very lovely couple. You do look good together. I you guys made fun of my suit. It wasn't the greatest. It's the only suit I have. I'm going to hey. guess that was Jim's first Doug Academy Award. Yeah. Hey, Howard. Yes, Gary. I know that Robin doesn't want to talk about whether they had sex because she doesn't want us to ask details about, you know, what they do, which is fine. But I do what, I, what oh, I'm dying. What, what, what do you need to know? I need to know the circumstances of the first time, meaning. The circumstances? Yeah, where were you? How soon was it? Who made the first move? Were you at a house? Yeah, a how hotel, long did you car? wait? But that's a fair question. How long did you wait before you became lovers? How long do you think? I know for me it was two weeks in my relationship. <laughs> I'm going to say for you guys, right, Robin knows what you... Uh, I'm going to say 23 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to think. 23 I'm going to really think about this. I know in the beginning you guys were calling each other. It was hard because of your stand-up comedy uh, schedule. You were in a round and you had a quarter. All right, I'll tell you the first thing. We lied about that. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, we saw each other a lot. shortly after... That conversation. Oh, we didn't, oh, there was no okay. waiting. So the right. first right, lie me. that we know about. <laughs> okay, okay, but that's fair. All right, so yeah. you're coming so, clean we now. were throwing you off the scent. We All decided right. to tell you we hadn't seen each other. Well, let me ask you something, then. When you first started seeing each other, now that we're talking reality, uh, was there a period of time in the beginning where, like, you had to see each other almost every day? No. No. So you didn't we have... We would never... We still can't see each other every day. How often do you see each other? <laughs> so I can gauge my guess. Once, twice a week. Once or twice a week. Okay. You two could be secretly married for all I know. <laughs> uh, let me think. I have no frame of reference because I've never gotten further enough into a relationship to, to where we got the sex. Right. Oh, stop it. I'm gonna say, well, how long did it take you before you and yeah, Dana? With, with you and Dana. Uh, oh, well, I don't want to make this about me. but uh, <laughs> Please, actually, take the pressure off of me. Actually, it was about a, mo a month. Yeah, uh, like a, a month. Yeah, yeah a month. Wait, yeah. you slow to move. <laughs> well, look at me. I, I'm lumbering. <laughs> I'm going to say, and I know Fred. You were lighter then. When Fred met his wife, it was yeah, the first, first night. They met. First night. I don't think In the cab right, right uptown. <laughs> Robin is known when she's really hot for a guy to give herself totally on the first hour. Wow. So this is, uh, yeah, I, guess she's, I guess she's not hot for me then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say. That's crazy. Go ahead, Fred. My <laughs> guess is three dates. First one to kind of like feel it out. Second one to make sure. Third one, she moved in for the kill. I'm going to say it took at least six dates. No. Yeah. No. I think Robin She's proud of that very... body. She wants to show that body off. I think she was leery of uh, of Jim. I think it was after It the... was the third date. We were watching the 85th <laughs> episode of the French Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. <laughs> Robin portrayed a character named Judith, who was uh, originally on the network on November 29th, 1993. <laughs> I'm going to say it was after you guys saw Rambo, but before Savage. <laughs> I'm going to say six dates. Who's right? You're all wrong. First date? No. No, that was just a knob job. Well, give me, give me the answer. <laughs> no, that was a knobber? Yeah, that was a knobber. I think we were beyond... I ripped a couple of her dreads out. I think we were around beyond ten. Oh, wow. Yo. Wow. What's wrong with you, Jim? <laughs> it looks, you know, I think she wanted it earlier, but I'm like, look, I'm not that type of guy. <laughs> Do you think you she know. wanted it earlier, but she had to make sure you... No, I don't think so. Because uh, we said we wanted to be friends first. Right. I wasn't sure I was wanting to get back in another relationship. Right. You know, after what happened, I no, needed you some... come. you came off... Is it hard dating a guy who went through what Jimmy did? Mm -hmm. he, the death of his girlfriend and all of that? No, he's amazingly okay. He is? Yeah. Well, you know, I work on myself every day, you know, on it and stuff. What so. do you mean you work on yourself? Well, you know, I still go to therapy, I, oh, you yeah, know, do yeah. all that stuff, books and support groups and stuff, so, you but, know. But there must have been heavy making out before the sex occurred. <clears throat> In other words, you do, you don't just jump into the sack. I would imagine there was much tongue kissing and feeling of the boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly squeezing of the penis. <laughs> through the pants, of oh, course. Really? Yeah. I mean, uh, when did you have your first kiss? First kiss. Uh, it's like the fourth date. Uh, <laughs> really? Is that true? I'm trying to think. Yeah. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, all right. Write down your answer. All right. This is simple for you, Robin. Let's see if Jimmy <laughs> really knows it's you. Simple this for one's me? a simple one for you. What's Robin's bra size? Oh, jeez. She doesn't on. know that. But she does. Write down your answer. <laughs> 
he doesn't know that. Why Which does he know that? Guess. He hasn't had to buy me a bra. Well, I wish we could have a real conversation. <laughs> I want to know what it was like when he got his hands on those things. <laughs> Every guy has wondered about that. <laughs> Although I did read it on his blog. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't tell me it was blogging. Jimmy, what did you write? I put 38 triple D. <laughs> 38 triple D. Robin, what are you? Good guess. A 36 double D. Double yeah, D. Not bad. All right. All right. That, that's something you probably wouldn't know. All right. I really want you to match once. I want you to match once. Oh, there's Robin's breast. Yes. Thank you. Oh, jeez. Oh, take that down. <laughs> take that. Those look like... Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right, Robin. We'll see how well you know Jimmy with this one. Get this one right. All right. If you don't get this one, then you guys aren't meant for each other. All right, All right very here we good. Go. All right. Now we'll be able to tell something. Write this down. Who is Jim's favorite comedian? His favorite. You oh. should know that the man's in the. Co- don't right, just, just write, it down. write it down. Write it down. If you don't know that, I mean, the all guy's right, a comedian. Right, He's got to. All right. All right. Let's How do you see. spell Governor Alley? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. All right. You ready? Mm-hmm. What'd you write down? Andrew Dice Clay. Andrew Dice Clay. Wow. Very good. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. But that means she knows you. But do you know her? Ooh. Do guys ever know anyone? Well, I want, I, want, I want you to be with a man who knows you. I'm going to think of something. Hickory, dickory, stop. <laughs> Let me think. Let me think. Okay. Here we go. See how well you you know Robin and Robin knows you. What's Robin's most irritating habit? Ooh. Tell what my most irritating habit is. You know what it is. Oh, jeez. Write it down. What is Robin's most irritating habit? You might have to go to SFN for this. (laughs) (laughs) I have to know my own irritating habit. You know your irritating habit. (laughs) Jimmy, what is it? What'd you write down? I didn't write anything because I don't. You're not irritated? She no, but that is, that's a guy that's being bullshit. smart. You're no, being no, it's not. I don't You're being a fucking guy now. <laughs> that's playing a game with her. You're playing a game with her. She's got to have one irritating habit. Come on. She's too right, beautiful. <laughs> her beauty is irritating. Me. Sometimes I think she's too smart. <laughs> Too articulate. My vagina's too tight. I can barely get in. It's so young and fresh. Sometimes I think she's too sweet and kind. <laughs> she cares. All right. All right. I feel girls' night out used. Robin, her. what did you write down? What is your most irritating habit? Does anyone remember laughter? You're laughing. What did you write? What did you write? I write... All right, so you guys tell me I'm pussy whipped. Obviously, I, maybe our stories are a little long. <laughs> wow. Well, now I'm going to get shit for that because you, you guys. You are, man. Yeah, I know. Before, before I'm a pussy, now I say something. No, you guys are getting shit for at it. Dinner, you know what? This is a Robin's typical broad. Perfect. Typical broad. Next time at dinner, you're going to say, how you doing? And she's going to go, well, I don't want to bore you. Oh, I've got you know me. Yeah, yeah. You better shut your you mouth up. You know Robin. me better. Hey, Robin, how about cooling it on the stories? I'm I'm trying. There you go. See, now I thought she was going to write that. That's why I wrote it. Oh, I sure, sure, sure. All right, here, you got to get... In for it. Hey, Robin, uh, I one. got time to kill. Why don't you I tell me about your day? Really last, oh, one, last, one, last one, last one, last one. Robin, <laughs> what will Jimmy say is your most attractive physical uh, thing? And Jimmy, write down what is Robin's most attractive Physical now I'm talking about. I don't know why I'm pointing my chest. Why are you carrying on? What like is your this? favorite How would I know that? What is your favorite physical feature on Robin? What will Jimmy say, Robin? Let's see if you two have a connection. I have no idea. Well, what do you think Jimmy's gonna say is your favorite his favorite physical part of you? And How do you is... spell labia? <laughs> <laughs> it's with an L. Major or minor? <laughs> L to the A, B to the whiz out. <laughs> All right, Robin, what did you write down? Let him talk first. Did I'll you write you, something I down? I wrote something All down. Right, what do you got? Face. Face. Oh. <laughs> what did you write? Ass. Oh. Wow. Okay, let's compromise. Clint. <laughs> <laughs> well, you two have a lot to learn about each other. Uh, <laughs> you two have a lot to learn about I each told other. you we don't know each other that well. Not that well. Well, this is very exciting. Jimmy is uh, on tour all over the place. They hardly have time to know each other. <laughs> That's right. Jimmy's going to be uh, this Thursday night at the Gotham so Comedy Club. So my stories are long. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Face was a nice touch. Yeah. 
I recuperated with that one, right? Right. I don't know. Two one two three six seven nine thousand and Jim's new comedy album, Anger is a Gift, is available at jimflorentine dot com. You can see Jim April second through the sixth at the Improv in Dallas. Where are you going to be with uh, the Rev? This Saturday night, Starland Ballroom, Salem, yeah. New Jersey. Well, this is all a, those guys, all the killers of comedy. Well, listen, that's good. I, you know, look, this is very nice. I don't know what's going on. I'd love an answer to the lube question. <laughs> But what can I tell you? Here's Mary. No lube. Mary Ann. There you go. <laughs> really? No, no lube. lube. Jim, Jim, I knew congratulations. It. Ever since you and Robin got together, she's like a kid in a candy store, Jim. But I do have a serious question. <laughs> Have you ever titty fucked those fun bears? Whoa! You're not supposed to ask that oh. question. Can I tell you something? It's a funny question, but I would say yes. I would too, Howard. I would absolutely say. You know what? Although Jimmy's a smart guy, I'll tell you, I admire him. He's a smart guy. He would know that might even disturb Robin on some level. Can I say one That, in other words, a lot of guys, Jimmy's probably, if I was dating Robin, I'd say, you know, a lot of guys probably spend a lot of time on her titties because guys love that. I'm going to almost ignore those titties and not act like they're any big deal. And, and go right for the Blumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, you cracked a smile when I said it. I think I got your game plan down, don't I? You, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah. I haven't titty fucked at Marianne. <laughs> 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 Nor will he ever. What do you mean? You would go be up for that if he did it. Thanks, my story. Are too fucking long. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll do it while you're telling so long if I'm fucking you in the tents. <laughs> I'll do it while you're telling a sp- long story. Keep you busy. <laughs> How about some oral? Shut the fuck up. How is they much more in love than they're letting on? Yes. I even asked you. Lie to me. How I dare you. I what do you mean? Have you asked him if your stories are I too long? I said once, I think I'm too long-winded. And he goes, no, 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 your stories are interesting. Oh, what do you say to him? I go back to sleep. That's, that's as cliche as a chick asking if she looks fat in a dress. Yeah, no but, way. Well, Robin give you every detail? Is that the problem? No, no, because she, I remember her saying that. My story is too long-winded. And I said no, so that's what I thought she was going to write. Right, but you love the laugh. I don't story. mind the laugh. Now, if I would have said the laugh, she would have said, oh, you don't like my laugh. So then she wouldn't laugh anymore. Comic, Robin, any comic who's ever done this show knows Robin's laugh is a savior at times. <laughs> well, I love Robin's laugh. Yeah. I mean, Robin's laugh has made me a, a career because I feel like I'm funny when I'm around her. Absolutely. Oh, I'm not necessarily funny. I just feel like I'm funny. <laughs> but the question was what irritates. So if she, if I were to put laugh and she put laugh, then she'd be like, oh, so you don't like my laugh. Please, so I was match. fucked either way. It's I've... hard dating Robin from the point of view that on some level you have to know she's probably most in love with me. After all. Well, yeah, I mean, Do I, you I, feel I that? maybe feel I think that, that maybe she's like, him? all right, he's got curly hair, he's funny, he's tall. No, am I a secret part of the relationship? In other words, <laughs> am I always Uh-oh, there? Sal am I always up. there? Oh, here we go. Are am you I, there? Yeah, am I always on your mind, in other words, because you know I am the man that Robin worships. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Now, do you really think, though, like if you weren't dating Beth and she was single and you were single, I'd. She would want you. Yes. Deep down, definitely. Yes. yes. I do think that. Yeah. I but do. you think that she would be into your lifestyle of staying home and going no. to bed at 8.30? She would kill me in a week. And not travel? <laughs> she would be my fucking guts. I'm the most miserable son of a bitch on the planet. I don't even know. I, I can't even imagine how anybody could put up with my horror story. It's a nightmare. Yes, Sal, what do you want to say? Quick question. Love you both. Very happy for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I am. I'm, I'm really. Uh, you're, you're you're what the fuck are you want? You're turning want. purple. You're... Sal, you're my friend. You're my friend. And as a friend, I want to ask you one question. Be serious. I am. And ask it in a serious manner. Could you mind. please tell me in the audience, what are the size of Robin's areolas? <laughs> so he's not going to say that. That's well, I do. Private. I have some coins. Oh, no, he's got that's no wrong. Problems. He's not going to do the betrayal. <laughs> you say it's Don't hair. bring your paycheck in here. Oh. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> CD? It's a CD. Right. It's a size, their size is right. a CD. You won't if say you had Jim? a serious question, that would be fun. But instead, you're asking something he's not comfortable. Question. All right, go ahead. Oh go. Now, boy. here's how you ask Here the question. Goes Gary no, this, is, this, is, um, <laughs> this has nothing uh-huh. to do with sex, actually. This is, so, how does it work with you guys financially? Meaning, you go away, right? How do you pay for the plane tickets? How do you pay for the hotel? Who pays for dinner? How does that whole <laughs> Good thing work? Good question. Uh, it, we both pay. I mean, I usually pay for... She pays for the dinner, and then on the way home, I'll pay for the tolls. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like eight bucks to go through the tunnel now. The guy always has to pay, right? It doesn't matter how wealthy... Robin's a wealthy woman. There's no question about well, it. No, I pay for dinner. Yeah, I pay you for dinner. Yeah. dinner. Yeah. Okay, all right. And then we go away. Like, I paid for one trip, then she 
paid for the other one. But wait a second. For instance, when okay, you go away, you're covering you fly- the uh, hot stone massage or what? <laughs> <laughs> but I know Robin d- doesn't like to fly unless it's first class. So do you guys always fly first class? Yeah. And you pay for that? Well, yeah. I mean, I can get. Uh, I got frequent flyer miles. I can get upgrades to first class. Oh, so, yeah, I mean, and... we're gonna. If she's gonna be with me, we're going in first class. Why so. no expensive gifts so far? I I know you came on her necklace, but uh, oh, what? you told us that. Oh, that's right. That was. Yeah, that's not... <laughs> no, no, I'm saying. Um, she was like, "How did you know that?" I, know, I, was like, <laughs> I thought you threw that one away. <laughs> what, uh, what are you going to buy her expensive jewelry at some point, or some kind of jewelry to to cement the relationship? In other words, this is what I want you to wear, something of mine. Are you ever going to wish consider I'm sure it? I will. You will. It's too early for that. It see? might be. I mean, yeah. I don't know, you know. Right. You don't want to blow it that, blow that kind of stuff out of the box right away. you got to kind of work up to that. Howard, I'm still here. Oh, great. <laughs> I know you are. Why? <laughs> it's just small things. When my husband brings me a cup of coffee, I'm like thrilled. It doesn't need to be a big piece of jewelry. But do you ever get her, like, her favorite liquid drink, uh, Jim? <laughs> do I what? Like, like, my favorite liquid drink. Yeah, but did you, when you go out to dinner, she must be very inexpensive because she hardly eats now. Well, now, yes, yeah, she doesn't eat, which is great. So right. I'm going to ask her, let's go to the Four Seasons. I already made reservations. <laughs> so that's really sweetie. I go, I got a table right by the window. Oh, you can't go? Does her dieting annoy you with this liquid? No. Good diet and the, and when she's constantly making these drinks and these I see a big Concoction. container of concoctions of yellow <laughs> liquid. I mean, no, she wants to be healthy, right? I'm like, um, yeah, but you're not getting caught up. You're not that. No, I, I'm not on like this whole like vitamin plan. I'm into all health stuff too. So Are you gonna do we animals? got that in common. Did you start doing the animals no. like she does? You will not go that far. Yeah, I will so. tell you what swayed me. All right. About One Jim? of the big, big things, yeah. That My you bulge. love about him? <laughs> <laughs> what, that you love about him? <laughs> I said that swayed me. That made okay. me think, hey, maybe I ought to take him seriously. Go ahead. I uh, think it was... I held in my gas. Yeah. <laughs> when he started doing well, leech I therapy. Doing that. <laughs> Is that like Demi Moore? Yeah, he started doing I like doing turpentine bath. Therapy therapy turpentine bath. <laughs> and turpentine bath. What made you think that he might be a serious contender for your heart? We were going to go see a movie and have dinner, and he said, I did some research. You'll be a, I found some restaurants I think you can eat at. Yeah. Mm. A true sign of romance. That hey, Jim, is. what kind of perfume does Robin wear? Because I've been walking on this all night. i got a hundred questions. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know that. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know? No, he doesn't know that. No guy knows that shit. No. He just, as long as she smells good, he's mm-hmm. fine. I got a guy question for Oh, Jim. God. <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. How big is Jim's car? <laughs> Can I see it? Can I look at his well, ball? That's, that's a question for Robin. Uh, now, uh, how, what is Robin's shaving pattern down there? Looks like a crop circle. <laughs> Would you mind letting us that's know? That's right. It looks like aliens well, have landed. I mean, that's silly. I mean, he's going to keep some things I'm right. afraid, Richard, you're going to have to find that Robin out. Robin told you she shaves it, but not completely. She has a little bit of All hair. Landing She's not a very hairy woman. <laughs> Actually, she has my initials carved. Yeah. That's right. That's H- right. Big H S. Mm-hmm. Also, Absolutely. also, real quick, Jim has uh, Robin met Crack Finger yet? Your best friend? <laughs> no, he hasn't. She hasn't yeah, met why, Tony. That's a good question. Why has Robin not met guys like Crack Finger and stuff like that? Oh, well, she's Are met my friend Don Jameson, who's in the green room. You know okay. Don? Yeah, yeah sure. he's a friend of mine. But right. uh, he hasn't. I don't hang out with him that much, Crackfinger. All right. Is Crackfinger here in this area? Oh, Crackfinger's in New Jersey. <laughs> I didn't realize. Oh, yeah. He's, still, he's in the Midwest. I still hang out. He's one of my best friends. Uh, uh, what is, why do they call him Crackfinger again? Because when people pass out of parties, he sticks his finger in his ass, <laughs> and it smells really bad. He, puts, yeah. he smells it first. He's like, oh, my God. And then he just puts it on the people's noses until they wake up. It's like a smell. And, so, and then if they don't wake up, he rubs it in their lips. Oh, oh, my God. dream mode. <laughs> it's hilarious. I, I mean, can't wait to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a key? To, do you have a key to Robin's place? No, no. How about a drawer? Do you have a drawer in your place? <clears throat> no. Does she have a drawer in your place? No. Hmm. So what do you sleep over? Get up very early and leave all disheveled? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, how does that work? <laughs> Yeah, I just bring clothes with me in a little suitcase. Right. I will crack. Move him with a suitcase. <laughs> yeah. Will Crack Finger be saying a few words at the Rainbow Room event? <laughs> wow. Well, this is so exciting. You know what? I feel good for you, too. I'll tell you why. I, I get a great vibe I'm from I'm happy, too. I yeah. Well, I'll tell you why I'm happy. Because you're now coming out in the open. There's, you know, enough of the silence. And, Robin, if you don't use KY with Jimmy, be proud of it. Mm. Don't be ashamed. Be proud. This is a woman who thought that she would be dry. Her well had run dry. And now, because of you, you've made her whole again. And I, I thank you for that as a friend. 
And Robin. I believe, Robin, you don't want to be a spinster. You don't want to grow old alone, and you have a nice companion now. <laughs> and, Jimmy, you can let out a fart now. Don't be so uptight. Oh, I think it would kill me, don't you? <laughs> yeah, look, I just, I'd be respectful around women, you know. I'll do him around Artie. He enjoys him. <laughs> James, you're on Go ahead. What, one last question, and, and uh, we'll move no, on. No, Artie said he had a question to ask. Oh, yes, Artie. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to ask... Uh, if I could go out and ask Jason to get me some ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> that was the question? No, well, I said... Uh, uh, what do you think, Artie? Now that you've heard them together, you hear them interacting as a couple. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Do you think this is the real deal? Yeah, I actually... I never thought it wasn't, but after today, like, all, in all seriousness, I get a great sort of vibe from them. They seem like a very happy couple. I, yes. I don't know. They do. That's it's how you... I found out he didn't like my stories. Well... <laughs> You yeah. guys kill me with that one. But have you, you ever see, smelled? Have you ever smelled? Have out. you ever smelled coffee coming out of her ass? <laughs> oh. It, yeah. One day I did smell coffee, and I'm like, she goes, "No, I don't even drink it anymore." I'm like, I, I just let it go. You knew something was going on. Okay. No, but she doesn't, and she doesn't tell me what to do, which everyone thinks she does. Right. Like she never told me don't do miserable men anymore because I'm not miserable. Right. She would never say that, and I wouldn't date somebody that would tell me that. Right. No, I understand. You no, know, I, so I, that's, yeah, she had nothing to do with no, that. it seems like a very nice thing that you two have. I'm very happy for you. I really am, because yeah, I know they... you were very upset, Jimmy. I mean, you went through a lot emotionally, and Robin has emotionally been through the mill. Uh, no, Jeez, really again, no. well, I, I'm true. characterized by, uh, by, some by a maniac. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, but I think no. we might have met at the right time in our lives. I think so. You know? I think so. I think you're both ready. See, that's what I think. Having known Jim for a while, I think after the tragedy he went through, obviously after the pain went away, I think he used that to, to find a better space in life. I mean, am I right about that, Jim? Yeah, when you go through something like that, it completely changes you as a person. And it's he gonna, could not... To you know me, what I mean? Three yeah. years ago, I would have never thought about, you know, being what she would have never been interested in. I wasn't at a place where she would be interested in me. But, well, you, you know, remember, Jim, a few months after that, the first gig we did together was down in Miami, and we had two shows, and in between shows, we talked about it, and I couldn't believe how good he was reacting. Like, he did everything healthy you think mm. a human being should do mm. after that, and I was... Very impressed by it. Like he he tackled the therapy part of it and 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 really got happy in a in a healthy way. I write yeah. this down, Robin, right now. What is Jimmy's mother's name? Jimmy, don't oh. say anything. Oh. Write it down. Oh. I wanted to see. And then Jimmy, you're gonna get the next question. I'm trying to remember. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jimmy, see if you can tell me Robin's mother's name. Now <clears throat> shh, don't say anything. All right, Robin, what is Jimmy's mother's name? Diane. All right. Now, Jimmy, what is Robin's mother's name? Louise. Is it Louise? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. And it's Diane. And it is Diane. Yeah. Say, Jim, what do you have for your mother's name? <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Now we're on to something. Oh, boy. That, that proves a lot. Oh, it does to me. <laughs> if you had gotten that one wrong, yeah. forget it. I would have told you break up now. <laughs> But what I was trying to get at, Jim, do you think that you've changed for the better in the last couple of years as a person? Because I, I, I think you have. Yeah, I, I, I had to, yeah. you know. Or either I don't deal with what I went through and then I deal with it 10, 15 years down the road. I'm just self-destructive over the next, you know, part of my life. But no, I just dealt with it head on. Right. You know, it's the only way. It's, I'm still dealing with it. It's still tough. It's 15 months. It's can't not easy. To, I can't wait till Louise and Diane meet. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be there for that. Go ahead, James, quickly. I, 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 I'm running out of time, and we could do this for hours. Hey, now. Yeah, hey. Uh, i got to get an honest answer out of Jim. One to ten. How is Robin at a good old blowy? <laughs> oh, <good>. wow. <laughs> uh, I One to ten. Him. One to ten, Jim. Robin, you want to answer that? <laughs> Robin wants to be good at that so bad. I got a Here feeling. Go. I got a feeling only the stories are too long. I bet, I'll tell you what. I bet those don't last too long. I bet you the stories go on and on, but I bet you the blame should give you a couple of seconds. I think we need to find a happy medium there with the stories getting shorter. She's gonna kill herself uh, getting you off. Robin, if a guy doesn't come too fast for you when you're blowing him, you kind of give up, right? And then you say, "Just fuck me already." <laughs> Right? 
Uh, that could happen. Yeah, I don't see you as, uh, you know, really putting in the time and energy. I know. like the blowjob as like a pre preamble mm. to actual sex, you know, like, but then you don't want to kiss the broad. <laughs> <laughs> has, uh, has, uh, have you read Robin's book? No. Oh, I did read it back in the day when she right. first released it. Yeah, I reread it. Don't reread it. <laughs> Boy, the stories in there are long. All right, Bob huh? Levy, you're the last to go. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> I'd like to say how happy I am for the kids uh, dating. And also, did you eat her ass yet, Jennifer? <laughs> yeah, all right, enough of that, Bob. Oh, my God. Uh, no, I haven't. I, I, I'll answer that Jimmy, one. Jimmy, how is the career going? I the feel this, going great. I feel this is uh, uh, the time of Jim Florentine. I really do. It's uh, it's building nice. I got, you know, a CD. I got, I'm got. i writing two books. This is a new I got CD. a one-man show. Yeah, this is a new... I'm working on a one-man show. I got all now, what, stuff How is it a one-man show different than the stand-up comedy? It's going to be more personal stuff, more... You know, it's not going to be just set-up joke, punchline. You know, right. it's going to be a lot of what the tragedy I went through and getting molested when I was younger and stuff. So you were molested some... when you well, were? The we guy told that story here. Yeah. With the wrestling yeah. pictures. Yeah. You know, the guy would give me... He'd oh, ask yeah. me if I wanted a picture and I'd give him a kiss in the cheek. I still can't get over that. Look, he had Roddy I like Piper. Robin, I like Robin's laughing at it. A picture of Piper's pit is worth a kiss in the cheek to a guy. At 14, I, did, I, I thought pretty... so. What happened? You blew the dude? I didn't blow him. No, he no. put his hand on my pants. No. <laughs> And then he and then he got and I freaked out. So he goes, "Look, I'll give you the whole album if you don't say anything." So I took the whole album from him. I waited about a half hour. Then I told everybody. So I still got the album. Yeah. Good for you. You're smart. Yeah, right. yeah, I do remember that story. Yeah, it's a very yeah, sensitive. Story. I think he's still he in prison. The guy. The guys lap to watch the wrestling matches. He had front row. He's like, "You want you, you got to sit on my lap." I'm like, "Okay." Oh my God. I was 14. <laughs> Front row at a wrestling match. You could, the pedophile uh, bell believe, should be ringing. I can't 14. believe I'm dating the guy who's the guy's a little old. Front row seats to be, at a wrestling match. Your 14's match. a little old to be falling for that one. Yeah, you should have seen what I did for Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> but we were up in the nosebleeds, and he came up. He goes, you guys want to sit in the front? We go, yeah. So he brought us up there, and then we got there. He goes, you're going to have to sit on my lap. I'm oh, like, what? Well, he said, there's only one seat. I'm Ooh. like, did you feel his boner like hitting into your No, but he did nibble on my ear at one point. Oh. He did. Yeah, he did uh, I said, "What was that?" He goes, "Oh, I was just watching a match." I'm like, "That's fucked up." Oh. And then I had my. I got up. I realized at that yeah, point, whenever, my buddy. Then my buddy went on his lap. <laughs> whenever King Kong, whenever King Kong Bundy does his avalanche, I like to nibble on an ear. <laughs> so it's going well. You got the CD out. Yeah. And you've got uh, the one man show. I'm you working got, on that. You got the stand up comedy going. Mm -hmm. I'm a, should be doing a Tonight Show soon. Doing stand up on there. You doing the Tonight Show? Yeah, it looks oh, like. Yeah, I got passed to do it. Do you have Working wow. on it for about a year and a half. How do you get past to do that? No well, they just you got to send in tapes, your material. I got to prove the material, so they That's just approved it. Yeah. Yeah, so huge deal. So when is that happening? Do you I don't know. It? You know, they'll set a date, but I'm approved to do it. So wow, very nice. Congratulations. Yeah, that so would be great. Yeah, and then um, I'm working on two books. I'm working on an autobiography. Really? Which will be part of the one-man show. And then me and my buddy Don Jameson uh, writing a book on pranks, all the pranks that we pulled. And it's like a how-to thing. Yeah. What's oh, the best prank yeah, you ever pulled? Yeah, I was telling him about the Meet the Creeps thing where you go to the buffet. I love Oh, that. yeah, we go to a Chinese buffet, and we just pull our chairs right up to the buffet and start eating <laughs> right from the buffet. <laughs> but you're working slowly. First, you start going up and down to the buffet. Yeah, yeah, we, br we bring the uh, pails that get bring to the beach, the sand pails, yeah. and we start filling the food. Because we asked, is this an all you can eat? They're like, yeah, okay. And we brought a big fat guy in a way, like 400 pounds, my friend Tommy. <laughs> so we bring him in, and we just keep, we, we're raking it. With a pail? Yeah, with the pails, with the rakes and the shovels, and we're filling it up. Does he eat everything? Oh, yeah, everything. Thing, yeah, so he's, words, he's not even using the rakes shovel. He's just pouring in his mouth like this. <laughs> and then eventually you move him right up to the buffet. Yeah, he right. Yeah, there. yeah. Now what is the reaction of the people? They're like, what are you doing? How do you do it? You can't do that. I go, look, he's really tired. He doesn't want to move back and forth. <laughs> And they, they leave him there, and he sits there and he eats. We all did, yeah. And then they, they started calling the cops, and we ran. This woman's like, who does that? This woman at a restaurant. She goes, who raised you people? Uh, and like, we didn't know. I'm surprised, like, these politically correct days, they, they wouldn't just leave the fat guy there. Like, oh, we can't move. Did you hear my uh, offer? You know, I got this new bowling show we're doing on Howard TV. I want you to host it. Yeah, I, Doug called me about oh, it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Right. Yeah. yeah, so what do you, you think he can handle it? I, yeah. Listen, I, let me talk to you about it real quick, if you don't mind. Uh, so we have this new thing on Howard TV. It's hot chicks all in like either they're either going to be in thongs, some of them might be topless, who knows, they're going to bowl. But we're treating the bowling very seriously, and I want the show to move along. So while you're an entertaining guy and a funny guy, you got to keep the show moving, too. Can't all be jokes. I mean, we want, you know, like Howie Mandel toned it down for Deal or No Deal. Right. I mean, this is a serious bowling show, serious bowling commentary, except it's hot chicks and bowl in high heels. 
Like and the you direct be... opposite of Robin with a story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for you, Artie. What do you think? You'd be a good host for that. Yeah, I think I, I, I really want to get into some hosting stuff. Yeah, I was really psyched that he called right, me and could, did cool. it. All right, yeah, all right. So I think Is I, that okay, I, I, Robin, if I do? <laughs> yeah. Robin, do you, ha you said you might have a problem because the girls are really super hot. No, I won't have any problem. You will not? No. And what if Jimmy runs off with one of the bowlers? I don't have a problem. You don't have a problem? You no, won't be sad? No, I never have a problem. You would never be sad if Jimmy ran off with one I of the bowlers? I might be a little sad for a second. A second? And then I'll forget. So you're not in love with him? <laughs> Wow. I didn't say that. I might be hurt, but... Uh, this is an overprotection. You're being uh, a hard My defense ass. mechanisms are much like yours. It'll be okay. <laughs> wow. I don't believe that for a minute. You know? oh, Thank I'm Jane Harris. I'm devastated. What am I going to do? <laughs> Thank Jane Harris, Jane. Thank Jane Harris. <laughs> <laughs> is that the one who killed uh, Dr. Yeah, Dr. Uh, Dr. Parnauer. Right. <laughs> oh. Hey, a question, Howard. Yeah. One last question. So if we have, like, a hot chicken here right now, Robin, and... Yes. and uh, and uh, Artie got up to grab her boobies, and Fred got up to grab her titties, and Jim, Jim got up to grab it. Would there be an issue? Oh, no, there would not be an issue. You would, yeah. be, you would not have not an issue right with now. him. Not right now. I wouldn't grab her fingers. There would be no issue. I don't know him. Oh. <laughs> so there is an issue. In other words, for me. You would just say, I don't want to see you anymore. <laughs> What if I just grab their ass? <laughs> you can grab anything you want. You're a free man. Jim would read a book if. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, that chick, that chick looks. You're that right in a way, Robin, because if he is really devoted to you and in love with you. Listen. He'll torture himself. If, <laughs> what he's doing is distancing himself from you if he's grabbing those boobies. And and, and that was exactly what mm. I was saying. But why would be? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jim Florentino comes and does mm -hmm. the show. Uh, but right. why does it have Would to Jim be that? able if Jim, let's say, lost his mind <laughs> and he gave up the best thing in his life, which is of course you. Of course. <laughs> what if he wanted to come back on the show? He can come back on the show. And you wouldn't be you would sit there quietly seething? No. Would why you, would I seethe? All right, Gary, bring the girl in. <laughs> <laughs> all right, see Jim Florentine this Thursday night. You're, you're a hard ass, aren't you? What are you talking about? I'm no, telling you how very I'm a very woman. professional person. You, you and are, this but... show has to go on. Wow. Join the club, honey. <laughs> and you told me. <laughs> that's nothing that I would say he can never do the show again for. Right, okay. Well, that's fair enough. Because Jim is a friend of the show. He was here, but he was grandfathered in, so to speak. Whatever that means. That's right. Would you be mad at uh, Jim if he did gay stunts with Richard mm -hmm. and Sal? Would you feel... Strange about that? <laughs> yes, I would you feel are, strange you, about that. Oh, good. Now, what if she breaks? you haven't lost your mind. What if she breaks up with me? Am I, you know, am I going to come back? No, on the show? that's a whole different story. If she yeah. breaks up with you, she, she 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 can't say you can't come on because. She Maybe he doesn't want to come on. Well, that's his. Yeah, that's that, his, that could that's be it too. To I might have to go to Imus okay. and go after the black chick there. Right. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> See Jim Florentine this Thursday night at the Gotham Comedy Club in New York City. For tickets, call two one two three six seven nine thousand. Jim's new comedy LP album CD, whatever you want to call it, "Anger Is a Gift," is available at jimflorentine.com. All new material from Jimmy. Yeah. And also uh, see Jim April 2nd through the 6th at the Improv in Dallas and somewhere with Reverend Bob Levy. The Saturday Starland Ballroom, save on the jersey. There you go. All right. So, uh, Jimmy, you held up well. I think you two did well. Mm. Um, would have liked to see you match a few more questions, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't a disaster. I told you we don't know each other that well. All right. Well, you're getting to know each other. And uh, this was fun. The next time you come in, I want you to answer the KY uh, question. I said I answered it. I said no. She does not. You've never seen her use KY. No. He can't wow. see the sleight of hand I'm doing. Do you do sleight of hand with <laughs> no. him? So how do you explain this? <laughs> how do you explain this renaissance in your lovemaking? Mm. How do you know it's a renaissance? <laughs> because Lord. you told me that you used to use that stuff. I didn't say it was an all-the-time thing. So you're hot oh, for Jimmy. Boy. Now, do you think if you had sex with her, she, she wouldn't need the KY? Yeah. She would, need it. she would need it? Yeah. Why is that? Because it would be awkward with us. We've known each other a long time, and she would probably need something to wet her up a little bit. But wouldn't it be like a, a lot of built-up tension that you just... No. No? No, no. She'd need to get it. Trust me. Most women would There's want. no tension. <laughs> There's no tension. It's no tension. No, I respect you as a friend. I'm not moving in on Robin while you're with me. Well, thanks. All right. Um, Jimmy, thanks. You're a good sport, and uh, Robin, you're a lucky woman, and Jimmy, you're a lucky man. That's Howard, I, I also got to say that uh, I, I, I'm not positive yet, but I think the uh, lineup for going to <coughs> entertain the troops is going to be a banner one. Jimmy, myself, and 
I believe Dave Attell and Nick DiPaolo and Gary. Mm. And Are you aware that Robin has been asked by Artie to go to Iraq no. with you? You are not aware of that. No. How would you feel, and I want you to be honest, if Robin decides to go to Iraq? Now, you were just going with the guys. Right. All of a sudden, Robin now shows up. Does that affect you at all? No, she can come. As long as she keeps the stories down. <laughs> oh, wait, we're on that plane, and you're locked in. <laughs> what are these stories? What are these, uh, what, what are these stories you're telling? It's not really? true. It's, she brought it up. It's now not it's true. Just but a I'm running here. joke. Now I know it's a running joke. But uh, really, I mean, maybe you should shorten your story. I no, I, she's very entertaining it. when we go out. She is. Yeah, no, she can keep the Absolutely, yes, yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's what happened on the first date. I was really nervous. You know what I mean? I'm, uh, what so am I going to talk What are we going to talk about? We both did, but she pretty much. And with her long stories, it filled a lot of time. <laughs> it was, was like three hours. Yeah. For the long story. <laughs> yeah. I got into because I knew she was in the wine. I get in there and I, you know, I drink wine, but I don't even ask what it is. I'm like, yeah, right. just give me some wine. So right. I get in there before I'm looked at the me, the wine menu. I'm like, God, I'm just going to order something I can pronounce. Right. So I sound like I'm educated. Yeah. So I'm asking the guy, is this Merlot or Merlot? How do you pronounce this shit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, she knows. She's uh, quite the wine. No, lady. she is. Yeah. Kind of. Well, yeah, we've been out with them, Howard, actually. Yes, we have. And I, I, you know, was... I noticed Jimmy didn't get a word in edgewise. Now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now I'm thinking Look, about it. there's Artie, there's you, yeah. everybody's a big talker. <laughs> and I you. said to him that night, I said, obviously, we like talking. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's real quiet. Yeah, well, Jimmy... Artie was on a roll that night. Yeah. He was, actually. Yeah. He was doing full stand-up. Artie yeah. was amazing. Uh, yeah. Jim got the radio show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you've been holding in. It's true. I'm Jim sure... and Beth were... <laughs> I'm sure you've been holding in your farts the whole uh, the whole interview. So I'm not gassy gonna, today. I'm all right. All right. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back. And now Robin is going to shine on her own without you, Jim. Oh, good. She's going to fly. Yeah, you can go now. Uh, and we're going to take a break. Go see Jimmy. You know, the, check the website, jimflorentine.com, for all the information. And uh, we'll be back right after these words. 